It's a common misconception that eating carbs are going to make you gain weight and harm your metabolic health no matter what. In reality, this is only true if the carbs or the carbohydrate energy that you consume comes from refined sources. In fact, high carbohydrate diets can be healthy and beneficial for you when they are sourced from nutrient dense whole sources like fruits, starchy vegetables, legumes, and intact whole grains. We refer to these as our green light foods, and we wrote about them extensively in our book, Mastering Diabetes. Now, if you haven't picked up a copy of that book, then just go to Amazon and get one right now. It'll hopefully help you understand exactly why green light foods are the cornerstone of a nutrient dense diet and how they can actually help you reverse many metabolic diseases, including prediabetes and type two diabetes. In order to understand the confusion between the low carb and high carb approach, you have to understand that there are two main types of carbohydrates, period, end of story. Type of number one, refined carbohydrates. Type number two, whole carbohydrates. Let's deep dive. Refined carbohydrates are the type of carbohydrate that comes from refined sources like sucrose, high fructose corn syrup, and dextrose. These are all the results of a manufacturing process in which a whole fruit or a whole vegetable or a whole grain is subjected to a combination of steps involving cutting, milling, cracking, grinding, washing, extracting, boiling, steaming, condensing, and drying. The final product is a solid crystal, a powder or a flour or a syrup that is either sold as is or it's added to other products such as cereals and pastries and sodas and sauces and condiments and crackers and pastas and breads and dressings to make them appealing to customers. The end result of adding refined carbohydrates to packaged foods is a pleasurable eating experience, which in turn creates a subconscious addiction that lures you back to the store to buy more of the exact product that you enjoyed. Refined sweeteners can be made in a laboratory from artificial ingredients, or they can be made from whole food sources. Examples of laboratory and refined sweeteners include things like aspartame, equal, Splenda, and sweet and low. Examples of natural foods that have been turned into refined sweeteners include stevia and agave. Now, stevia is often refined into a powder or liquid sweetener, and agave is often refined into agave nectar. Now, refined sweeteners are made from artificial ingredients and from natural foods and are added to many packaged items in the grocery store, and some of them are specifically marketed as diabetic-friendly options because they are, quote-unquote, sugar-free, because they contain few or zero calories, and regardless of whether a refined sweetener is made from artificial ingredients or from natural sources, we encourage you to minimize or eliminate them altogether. Now, let's talk about whole grains. Intact whole grains keep their outside bran and their germ intact, whereas refined grains are stripped of both, leaving you with just the inside what's known as endosperm. Now, food manufacturers remove the bran and the germ on the outside in intact whole grains in order to prolong their shelf life because the longer the grain can sit on the shelf, the more likely it is to become profitable. Refined grains are just the starchy inside containing significantly less fiber and fewer antioxidants and vitamins and minerals and protective phytochemicals than their intact whole grain counterpart. Now, these components not only aid in optimal nutrient absorption and transport, but they're actually essential for those processes. Now, refined grains and products made from flour are metabolized and absorbed into your blood very quickly. And that can result in a large rush of glucose into your blood in a very short period of time. If you've ever experienced high blood glucose within a few hours of eating a product like refined grains, then that's likely because the flour used to make the food that you eat was absorbed into your blood very quickly. And that overpowered the ability of your liver and your pancreas to control your blood glucose with precision. Simply switching to a true intact whole grain not made from flour can dramatically improve your blood glucose and can keep your blood glucose controlled in the few hours following a meal. Now, let's talk about other whole carbohydrates in general. Whole carbohydrate-rich foods are made up of long-chain molecules and are mainly found in plant foods, like I said earlier, fruits, vegetables, beans, lentils, and peas, which are legumes, as well as whole grains like brown rice, buckwheat, millet, barley, and quinoa. The carbohydrate chains in whole foods come prepackaged with micronutrients, and this is one of the most important aspects of whole carbohydrates. They come prepackaged with vitamins and minerals and fiber and water and antioxidants and phytochemicals. These are vital behind the scenes players 
that play an incredibly important role in directing how nutrients are utilized in tissues all throughout your body. Now, carbohydrate-rich whole foods are some of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet, period, end of story, providing you with lasting energy as well as high-quality micronutrients that refined carbohydrate foods simply don't contain. Micronutrients present in whole foods are potent and highly bioactive compounds that can reduce inflammation, they can boost immune function, they can help digested food material move through your digestive tract, they can help blood clot at the site of an injury, and they can improve the function of your brain, your sexual organs, your eyes, your heart, and that's only scratching the surface. In the same way that blueprints contain the information necessary to build a house, micronutrients provide the information that tissues require to digest, absorb, and transport and uptake and oxidize nutrients from the food that you eat. And carbohydrate-rich foods are the most micronutrient-dense foods on the planet. I will repeat that. Carbohydrate-rich foods are the most micronutrient-dense foods on the planet. If you believe that micronutrients are, are transformative for your overall health and you're in the process of trying to find more micronutrients in the food you eat, eating more carbohydrate-rich foods will get you there very quickly. Now, when we recommend a high-carb diet, we don't just mean any kind of carbohydrate. Specifically, we mean whole carbohydrates. And it's very important to make that distinction in your language when you're talking about it and when you're interpreting what other people are telling you, okay? There is no substitute for this. There are two types of carbohydrate. There's the refined and the whole carbohydrates, and it's just that simple, period, end of story. Now, take a look at the study performed in 2002 by researchers at Harvard. They studied almost 1,200 men and found that those who ate the highest amount of whole grains had 42% less risk for developing diabetes. Their conclusion was simple. In men, a diet high in whole grains is associated with a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes that may be mediated by cereal fibers. That's the type of carbohydrate they chose to use in this study. Efforts should be made to replace refined grains with whole grain foods. Then there's another study that was performed in 2016. And in this study, researchers uncovered that those who ate fresh fruit three days per week were 13 to 28% less likely to experience what are called macrovascular complications, which are complications that occur in large blood vessels that can increase your risk for heart disease and stroke, as well as microvascular damage. That's damage that occurs in small blood vessels in your kidney, in your eyes, and in your nervous tissue. So those who ate fresh fruit three days days per week were 13 to 28% less likely to experience both macrovascular and microvascular damage than people who decided to eat zero fruit. So if you take this information combined with what I said earlier, what's the verdict of this trial? Complex carbohydrates, including fruit, are great for your metabolic health. And our recommendation is to eat a lot of them. Simple carbohydrates like cookies, crackers, chips, sodas, and pastries, those are the types of carbohydrate to avoid like the plague. This video was just a snippet of a much more in-depth discussion. Click on the link on the screen to check out the full length episode. Now the science behind health is overly complicated, unfortunately, but getting healthy doesn't have to be. Visit masteringdiabetes.org start. Answer some questions about yourself and schedule a free consultation to talk with somebody on our team who's gonna show you exactly how we've transformed the lives of thousands of people using the Mastering Diabetes Method. We have a limited number of spots available, and that's why it's imperative to find a good fit. Again, visit masteringdiabetes.org start to schedule a free zero commitment discovery call and start taking control of your health today.